Hello everyone. I'm going to make a video about gun safety today. Now there's a lot of things when it comes to gun safety. I mean that's a huge topic and this video would go on way too long if I talked about everything. I specifically want to talk today about muzzle control and, tr and trigger control. Okay? Um, the fact is there's a lot of new uh, gun owners these days and I'm not I don't think I don't think everyone really knows how to handle uh, a firearm and it's pretty important that you that you know what you're doing um, but it's also important for those of you who maybe uh, you do have a lot of experience so one of the reasons why I'm making this video in addition to the fact that I'm hoping to help some people some new people is maybe to remind some uh, some veterans um, that have been shooting for a while because of a mistake I made just a few weeks ago. Uh, and the mistake that I made had to do with muzzle control. Now, the good news is that everything is okay. You know, there, there, was, there was no problem, okay? Uh, but there was a problem, actually, in, in that I, I messed up. Uh, what I mean is I didn't, nobody got hurt. So that's, that's the good thing. Um, but I did something that I, I really should not have done. Um, the reason why I did it, I mean, in the end, I guess I just wasn't really, I wasn't focused. I wasn't paying uh, close enough attention. The fact is, and if you're looking, you know, if you look behind me, you can see that I have, I, ha I have this place to myself here. When I'm out here shooting 95% of the time, uh, I'm by myself. And I have to admit, uh, especially at first, I, I got a little sloppy and I probably developed some bad habits. So hopefully with this video, uh, we can prevent some of you from developing some of the habits that I made. Now you'll notice that this whole time I've been talking, I've been holding my uh, 308 bolt action rifle um, in this position that, I, that I'm holding it, uh, which is pointing down at around 45 degrees. Okay, and this is what I would call decent muzzle control. Okay, uh, now by the way, I have this gun. I have uh, I have uh, a pistol on my holster, and I'm going to demonstrate with both. Uh, but right now, I feel like I'm holding this gun at 45 degrees, and that's pretty safe. With both of my guns, um, they're they're unloaded. Okay, uh, now another big thing about gun safety is well, guns are never unloaded. They're always loaded. Um, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time with that. It's more of a philosophy. Even if you've taken out the ammo, and you know you've taken out the ammo, you still want to have this mindset that the gun is loaded. So I have taken out the ammo, and I'm going to check. That ah, bee's flying around. Uh, just to make sure, I'm going to open that up. I'm going to feel in there. There's no bullet in there. There's, there, there's no cartridge in there, excuse me. Um, so this is empty. Um, so when I do a few of these demos here, uh, there's nothing to worry about with this uh, rifle as well as my pistol. Okay? Uh, but I made a mistake the other day because I had a friend over. My friend came over. He wanted to shoot my 308. So, okay, let's go out and shoot my 308. And I have to admit, I don't shoot my 308 too often. This is a basic hunting rifle. I, I, I get it out during hunting season and, uh, and I hardly ever shoot it. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm not such a good hunter, but uh, anyway. Um, so he came over, he wanted to shoot, and, uh, and I'm happy to, to let him shoot my 308. Uh, but as I just said a moment ago, I don't shoot with other people very often. I'm always by myself. So we came out to this exact position where, in fact, I had the camera positioned pretty much where he's uh, standing, uh, where he was standing, and I'm positioned pretty much um, where I was standing. Now he, he shot a few rounds first, and, um, and then we traded off, and, and I shot a few rounds. You, you can't see it on the camera but uh, there's a target way down there and uh, that's what we were shooting. So I stood here and I shot my my rounds. Uh, I think I got four shots out and after I did that, now remember you're my friend in the position where you are 
and I kind of just turned around like this. <laughs> and you know, his, his reaction was, whoa, whoa, what are you doing, man? And, uh, and immediately, I, I mean, right away, I knew exactly what I did. Um, and I was so embarrassed by that. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm making this video, you know, kind of maybe to teach myself a lesson and to, to remind myself not to do that, but also uh, to help you out. So, muzzle control is basically pointing your uh, firearm in a safe direction, okay? Uh, and like I said, 45 degrees down would be good. I'm not going to do this. And again, I'm showing you these things. My, you know, I've checked my gun. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to do this because we don't know necessarily what's up there or, of course, the, the, the bullet's going to come down. Uh, I'm certainly not going to point it straight out at anything. Um, I'm not even going to point it straight down uh, because that's where my feet are, okay? So, um, what I should have done the other day, I shot my four rounds and, you know, I probably should have had a table out here. Put my gun down and you know down toward the target and then done whatever I needed to do I don't have a table here right now either so it's it's a little awkward um, but uh, you know without the table you know I, I, I could have turned around I could have you know you, ha you have to consciously think about it, it doesn't matter which you know it needs to be 45 degrees pointed down. It can be this way, it can be that way. Uh, certainly not this way, because that's where my friend was standing. Or it could be down there. So you really just have to be 100% aware of what you're doing. Okay? Um, I also want to mention trigger control. Uh, now fortunately, I'm very carefully moving my gun 45 degrees. Uh, fortunately, I feel like I'm pretty good at that. I, I've really ingrained uh, trigger control, and, and if you've been paying attention, uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna find, if you rewound the video, went back, uh, that my finger has not touched this trigger the entire time. Uh, but let me get up close. I'm gonna keep this pointed down. Um, so, you know, I'm holding my rifle, and, you know, my, my finger is not on the trigger. And it's really just that simple. Don't put your finger on the trigger. Keep it outside, okay? Now I'm gonna put my rifle down for a few minutes. Now on my hip, I have an unloaded. I, again, I took, I took the cartridges out earlier. Um, I'm gonna proceed with the idea that this gun is loaded, uh, but I am trying to do a demo here. But I do have a uh, a P365 on my hip right now and I'm going to take it out I don't know how close I can get before the, you can't see but when I pull the gun out you can see that my trigger finger is is straight and I'm going to pull this gun straight out and again I'm going to hold it at a 45 degree angle okay and as you can see the whole time my finger is not on the trigger. So that's trigger control. And uh, y you know, you really need to make that a habit, okay? A couple things that I did when I was just beginning that I need to be a little more aware of. Uh, one of the things that I used to do a lot, and I'm trying to break this habit, is, you know, I would be shooting, okay? And then when I was finished, I shot, you know, all my rounds. I would do this. Actually, before I do this, I'm going to check in there and make sure there's no ammo. Okay, so I did this. I would shoot, and I'd go, what is that? You don't do that. I'm, I'm completely not in control. It's pointing at my feet, pretty much. It's swinging. Okay, so you don't want to do that. Uh, just like with the rifle, you know, you don't, want to, you don't want to shoot your rounds and say, Hey, bud, did you see what I just did? It feels funny just doing that. I don't want to point it uh, at anything. 
So, and you see me pointing straight down right now, but you'll notice that at least the angle is more like 45 degrees. But I'm not going to point this down at my feet, okay? Here's another one. Now, I didn't bring my ears out because I'm not shooting today, but what if I did? What if they were around my neck? What am I going to do? Am I going to do this? No. I'm not going to do that because the gun is right next to my face. Okay? I'm going to either put my gun down or, you know, one, one side at a time. Okay? So I'm going to make sure that this muzzle stays down and at about 45 degrees. Okay? So, in order to avoid getting yourself, I mean, in the ver at the very least, in an embarrassing situation, but at the worst, a deadly situation, you need to be aware of where the muzzle is pointing, and you need to keep your finger off the trigger, because it's always loaded, even if you've taken the cartridges out. It's always loaded. Okay? Another thing, practice this. Maybe after I turn the camera off, I'm going to practice. I mean, I don't, have, I don't have any ammo with me right now, but I'll pretend, shoot, and then I'm going to consciously think about the direction that I'm pointing my gun. Same with the rifle, because I don't shoot that as much. So I might do that as well. So practice doing that, maybe with an unloaded gun. Okay? So thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you out, and have a great day.